Hello and good afternoon. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Panda Mount skin that was just released in the Guild Wars 2 gem store for the Journeykin or the Warclaw, depending on what you want to call it. These days I want to call it the Journeykin. Anyway, let's first take a look at how this skin feels visually and what designs it has and where it takes its inspiration from. So one of the biggest things to notice is that it's wearing a set of armor. And where does that armor take its inspiration from? I believe it takes its inspiration from ancient China. If you take a look at the mask style on the shoulders, the helmet style, the feathers coming out the top, even the textures on the shoulder pads, it is very reminiscent of an ancient Chinese armor style. And that would make a lot of sense considering pandas are native to China. So my personal opinion about this skin is that it looks cool, the armor is cool, and I like how the panda looks with the armor. That is a cool thing. I like the design. But ultimately, I would have wished if they just brought out a panda, no armor. I just want a standard, regular panda to ride. I don't know why they had to add the armor, but I guess I kind of see why, because it's, you know, inspired by China, and they're native to China, so it kind of gives that Chinese vibe. But it would have been nice if you could turn the armor on and off with a toggle, just like you can do with your helmet piece or your shoulder pads. Now let's take a look at the mount summoning animation. As far as I can tell, it's very similar to the original, except for the fact that they added a panda roar, and they added some sort of a green leaf thing that flows around and kind of explodes when you mount up, and I think it's bamboo. Anyway, you can take a look at this a few more times and then we'll move on to the next part. Movement is a very fun part of the new Panda Mount skin. Obviously, the movement is still very similar or almost identical to the Journeykin because the animations are copy-pasted and that reduces the amount of work that ArenaNet has to do to bring us new mounts. But since a Panda is obviously not a Journeykin, there will have been some adjustments at least to make it look more like a panda and less like a cat. You'll also notice that when you launch through the air with the air dash, the panda will roar. Here's a quick look at how the panda mount skin attacks with the main attack skill for the journeykin mount. Moving on to color customization. What you see right now is the default color scheme that the panda comes with. Here I won't do too much talking, I'm just going to color the panda a bunch of different colors, hopefully contrasting each other and you can see how the different dyes affect the different channels on the panda mount skin. And once you're done checking out the dyes, you can jump to the end of the video where I'll have a loop playing of the new animation that comes with this mount skin. Enjoy!